Humans are a very fun creature to mess around with in world box. You can make them grow a giant civilization, or you can make everyone fight each other and make the entire village destroyed. Anyways, let's start off with the base stats of humans. In the new 0.8.2 update, a lot of statistics have been added. The first thing we will look at is traits, inventory, and name. Name is a randomized name that will be given to a creature when they will be spawned in. Traits are randomized traits that the creature will have. They will affect battle or resource collecting. Inventory is where they will have all of their armor and weapons. Next we'll do mood and favorite food. Mood shows how happy or sad a human is. If they're in battle, they will most likely be angry. If they haven't gotten their favorite food enough, they will most likely be sad. A favorite food is a randomized food given to a human that they like. If this human eats their favorite food right here, then they will gain hunger way faster. We have the health bar and hunger bar. Health bar is pretty straightforward. It shows how much health they have, which is 100. We have hunger bar, which shows how full the human is, and the higher the hunger bar, the more they will regenerate health. All right, next, let's do the fighting stats. So we have damage. This shows how many, this shows how much health that the human will do or take away from another creature. Armor shows how much damage reduction. For example, this is 0%. If this human takes 50 damage, they will have 50 health remaining. But if this armor is 100%, then they won't really take damage. Next, we have speed. So this determines the walk speed and how fast the human moves. The average is 40. We have critical hit chance. Critical hit is where when the human does an attack, it does double damage, resulting in more damage. So this critical hit chance shows the percentage of how likely this human is going to get a critical hit. Next, we have attack speed. I'm pretty sure this is measured in attacks per minute, so 60 would be one attack per second. But again, I'm not really sure. The average is 60. Next, we have diplomacy. Diplomacy skill is where... It's, diplomacy is basically popularity. They will have a high diplomacy if they do good stuff in the kingdom, like command battles or even win battles. Next, we have the warfare skill. This goes up to 30, and the higher this, this number is, the more army they will invest in their kingdom. Next, we have stewardship. Again, it goes up to 30. The higher the number of stewardship, the more administration skill or building skill of a ruler. Next, we have these stats. So, age 18, when you place in a human, they automatically start at 18. We have kills. This number represents how many creatures this human has killed. We have experience and leveling. You can check the card for the video on the top right if you don't know what these are and how to level up your humans. Basically, humans get a certain amount of experience for every kill they get. So, for example, if they get a, kill a skeleton, they will get 20 experience, for example. When this reaches 100, it'll reset and they will gain a level levels make them stronger children pretty straightforward how many children this human has made favorite food it again shows here bread we have mood normal so yeah when you spawn them in it'll be normal mood and then we have home and kingdom it's a little bit buggy in this version with two capital letters so the home shows what city they live in, and the kingdom shows what kingdom they belong to. And then next we have the four buttons down here, so we have view kingdom, we can see the kingdom, their flag, what kingdom they are in war with and peace with. We have buildings, area, villages, army, and population, and then we have age, born, deaths, king, and then the capital. 
And then we also have the villages. Next, we can see view village. When you click this, it will view the village or the city that the human lives in. So for example, these are their resources. They have zero gold. The village age is zero. They have leader, kingdom, king. They also have population, army, buildings, and area. And then we have the other two buttons, so add to your favorites. What this does is it displays a star above the human, and when you go into the main menu and you click favorites, you will see their favorites. Now the last button is the spectator thing. This was added in 0.8.0 and you can follow this creature on the map. When you click this, it will the camera will automatically lock onto them and the main toolbar will be hidden so you can see what they are doing. Anyways, thanks for sticking around to the end. It really helps my channel a lot. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you also found this helpful, you can post down a comment below and also subscribe. Anyways, this is basically it. If you have any suggestions, you can post them in the comments too, and see you.